Yeah, you just stand there and hold it. No, just kidding. Yeah, I can. How uh -huh. long you go? An hour? I don't know. Yeah, no, 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 I'm just joking. Uh huh. I just wish there was a way. See, it's, it's almost gonna fit. Not quite. Son of a bitch. I put a. If I, I know Yo. what I know what I need. A, a thicker towel. If you put a thicker towel across there, it'll hold it. Okay, that'll yeah. work, man. Let's do that. It has come to our attention okay. that society, as the way we know it, and the world. I've got a bunch of these, it's, well, not like this, but things that you can hang stuff. All right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Anthropos here with another exciting episode of You Don't Know. You don't know, huh? So don't act like you do, because then something bad might happen to you. And I'm talking to you. Oh, all right. We've got a uh, fun and fact-filled show for you this evening. I'm going to bring you up to date on a couple of things. We're going to talk about uh, Randy Moggins' show that I'm going to be on uh, two days from now on Wednesday. I'm going to be on Randy Moggins' show. Actually, the show might not come out on Wednesday. Uh, just stay tuned. I'll keep you all advised about that. But you know, a couple things going on in my personal life. Uh, I've got a new friend. I've got a new friend. I don't. I don't often do this. As a matter of fact, I, I never do this. Um, but if you will look at the screen right now, uh, somehow this young lady has <laughs> likes me. I guess. And uh, anyway. This is my new friend. Oh, shit. Uh, now she's a, a rich lady living here in Austin. And I don't know what's up with that. Don't know what's up with that. Uh, some people on Facebook were like, how, how did you manage that? I'm like, I don't know. I don't have any fucking idea. We'll just, we'll just chalk, chalk it up to uh, dumb luck. Huh? Dumb luck. That's it. Oh, that's it. Got your dumb luck here. Diamond dozen, huh? I beat the shit out of bad luck. That's what I used to have back in the day. It was a young man, uh, much better looking than I am now, and uh, had some bad luck. I was brought on, brought on by myself. Indiscretions of our youth. That's what they, they sometimes call it. This right here. Check this out. $400 bottle of tequila. Can you imagine? And no, I do not buy $400 bottles of tequila. Uh, I just, I came about that somehow. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure that I knew there was such thing as a $400 bottle of tequila, but let me tell you, it's a very tasty bottle of tequila. And so here's how we start the show right here. Here we go. Here we go. that's good so anyway uh there is a video that i put out last week somewhat controversial i believe it's called uh truther community this is the video you're looking for and uh it was a video i didn't really relish putting out it's a quite a diversion uh from my normal videos that i put out which are 
full of uh, fun, fact-filled information and uh, compelling, and I interview compelling authors and experiencers. And of course, I myself am a, an author and an experiencer. But uh, this video that I'm mentioning, um, it was released under a different name that had some the young ladies' names in it, and I got about 350 views. And anyway, it's I redid it, put some uh, edited edited it a little bit more, and changed the title. Most importantly, to where it doesn't have these people's names in it. It's essentially a video calling out um, some people in the truther community that are doing harm to the truther community. And so that's what it is. This is, I think, not the first video I've done like this. There was, a, it's, I think it's the second. Um, well, if you, if you include the Maria Collier video, I guess it's really the third. And so I'm not trying to specialize in this. It's just uh, when somebody comes on my radar that's doing harm to the truth or community, and I'm not talking about that I don't believe their story. If you if you got a story that I don't believe, you, you ain't got to worry about me you know, trying to debunk your story or say this person's lying, that person's lying or anything like that. That ain't, that ain't my game. Uh, it's just these two ladies, and I'm talking about uh, Sarah Adams and Terry Joyce, who I will from now on, here on out, refer to as S-A and T-J, you know, uh, for a lot of reasons. Um, you know, I, I don't even want to get into it. If, if you want to hear what the deal was, go to the controversial video, The Truth or Community. This is the video you're looking for, okay? Well, anyway, um, not that he needs defending in any way because he is the one of the only verifiable super soldiers and badasses, although I know that he does not not personally like that title of super soldier, and I can't blame him for that. But we're talking about somebody who is uh, really was in these programs and uh, was, you know, conditioned somehow and enhanced somehow. We're gonna, I'm going to get more on that story from him on Wednesday. But it's uh, the man who hosts uh, Off Planet Radio, and he's somebody that I've, um, you know, been watching for a number of years. He's somebody, someone that I admire, and his name is Randy Moggins. And so anyway, he he was all caught up in this whole affair of. Uh, you know, S-A, and or especially T-J, not necessarily S-A, but um, T-J, uh, trying to vilify people that were good people that are in our community to do a lot of hard work to get out information to the public. And they were maligned uh, unfairly and untruthfully. And that's what pissed me off. And it, these allegations that T-J had were proven false over a year ago, yet she continues to make these same allegations. And let me let me say this because I did not say this on the video the other day. This is very important. Have have you have, have you ever been called a motherfucker? Have you have you ever called anyone a motherfucker? Okay, I let me tell you, I've been called a motherfucker plenty of times. I've called other people a motherfucker plenty of times, okay? And so I think everybody has, except for maybe, you know, 2% of society. If you're one of these you know, nice people that's uh, had enough morals and restraint and everything to never use these words, well, more power to you. And this next statement, what, the point I'm trying to make, just, you know, leave the room or something like that, okay? This is about the 98% of the rest of the population that has, in fact, called somebody a motherfucker or has, in fact, been called a motherfucker themselves. Here's the point I'm trying to make. If you call somebody a motherfucker or if somebody calls you a motherfucker, are they actually implying that you had sex with your mother? No, they're not. It's just a bad word. Now, of course... We can see, you know, the origins of it, and then the insult would be if somebody, you know, was involved with an incestuous relationship with their mother, then they would be a motherfucker. This would be a title that would be, you know, bring shame upon them and everything like this. We can see that this is the origins of the the name calling of the bad word motherfucker. But the truth is, if somebody's a thief or lying, or they're stealing from you, or they, you know, they cut you off in traffic or or anything like this, you call them a motherfucker because it's a bad word. 
you're you you never it never really you know if they heard you call them that to to their face they're not going to sit there and think that you're actually implying that they had sex with their mother that's that's not what it is it's just a bad in other words a a bad word that means something has transcended that meaning and become commonplace and in a way had all the the meaning and taking out of it taken out of it so this is a very valid point i'm trying to make here Please stay with me. TJ, Terry Joyce, is accusing, actively accusing a number, listen, a whole slew of people of being pedophiles. Okay? A pedophile is somebody who fucks kids. Okay? It's the most reprehensible, you know, satanic thing imaginable. It's so far outside of the human consciousness of the normal human being. And so it's such a, uh, an affront to humanity that it's just despicable and it's considered the very lowest, you know, actions of humanity. It's, it's beyond, it's, it's just the, the worst degradation. It's the worst thing that you could call somebody. But let's look at, let, let's like take a look at what Terry Joyce is doing. She's calling all these people pedophiles. What she's really doing on the cool and I know that she knows that she's doing this. She's taking the fire out of pedophilia. She's normalizing the accusation of pedophilia. She's turning it into like motherfucker. Like you just, if you're mad, if somebody calls you, cuts you off in traffic, you oh, that's a pedophile. Whatever, a pedophile. Well, what does that do? It takes focus off of the crime of pedophilia. It takes focus off of the horrific crime against humanity and crime against the cosmos that pedophilia is and don't you see that that plays right into the hands of uh evildoers so terry joyce's you know not only is she accusing people of this terrible thing which they're not guilty of she is normalizing this phrase she is taking the meaning out of it and meaning to where to where it's real, it's just no big deal. I mean, if, if somebody, if you don't like the lady in front of you at the grocery store, oh well, she's a pedophile, right? You know, because I have every uh, expectation of her and SA, you know, calling me a pedophile, and saying that I have um, porno channels, you know. Um, but I have been advised by several people that no, they're not going to do that. At, at this point, their credibility is so shot. Um, probably the last thing they're going to do is attack me. I don't know. I've been, I'm prepared for the attack. Uh, SA contacted me personally. This is the first time I've ever been in contact with this woman. And she had maybe done a little bit of looking around on the internet and everything like that. And she uh, made a discovery that, um, you know, if, whatever. In her opinion, I was... Uh, uh, a, a poor person uh, who was living in a rundown apartment, yada, yada, yada. And let me tell you, that was absolutely true. That was absolutely true for most of my life. But the information that SA found was outdated. And so she cannot scare me with her threats of going to her lawyer or whatever. I told her to bring it. I've, I've got a team of lawyers already. Not just standing by, but working, working with me and for me on some other stuff. Whatever, you know, carpet bagging, gay ass attorney she can bring from California or whether, bring it, bring it lady, come on. What's, what, what are you waiting for, huh? That's it. Because you see, this is the fifth fight in the state of Texas. <clears throat> we don't give a damn about any fucking queer lawyers from California trying to raise hell down here, huh? This is my people. This is my state. Don't forget it. So just go ahead and bring your lawsuit down here to Texas and see where it gets you, honey. We'll run you. We'll run you straight to the poorhouse, huh? We got them. We'll flip the script on you so quick. Just bring bring your old, little old lawsuits, huh? See, I'm not the one slandering anyone. You are. The slander. It's a slanderer accusing the uh, righteous person, and I'm no saint. Uh being a slander it's 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 childish and i did
once uh, Sarah Adams uh, okay, uh, discovered, made some discoveries, and that is uh, that my situation has changed, and uh, I'm, I am a, uh, a force to be reckoned with. In other words, I found out in pretty short order that she is uh, afraid or leery, whatever you want to call it, wary of people with uh, resources. Apparently, she's bullying several people in several different ways uh, with lawsuits and stuff like this or threats of lawsuits. Anyway, I'm just not, I'm just not concerned about that. First of all, I know the law better than she does. I know the law better than her little gay ass boyfriend, Taj. Uh, you know, and I see that he's, I've got a new subscriber to my YouTube channel called Taj Investigates. Investigate this, oh boy, oh, what's up? Oh, you gonna do an investigation? Let me find out. Folks, let me tell you something that a lot of y'all don't know. Uh, y'all know me as an author. You know me as a, uh, a real estate investor here in uh, the most beautiful city in the world, Austin, Texas. We love this city right here. Oh, we love it. Uh, and some of you know, not everybody knows, that I am actually um, <clears throat> one of the region's top experts, security camera experts in this area um and that's just the truth I've, I've done numerous contracts for the government for different uh i've done you know contracts for the u.s department of labor having to do with their gary job corps over here in uh san marcus this is where they take uh, troubled kids who have come from broken homes and they it's a real good program they teach them uh trades that are, are good money making trades like you know welding and being a nurse and be a janitorial service and different stuff like this it's a really good program and I, I was uh i designed and implemented and installed um and managed for a while um their campus-wide megapixel resolution uh wireless pro radio uh security camera system and also a couple of local uh systems that they had meaning you know local to that one building and so it was a joy working for them. I then worked for uh, the Mexican government when the when the U.S. Uh, excuse me when the Mexican consulate right here in Austin got shot up by a quote unquote white separatist with an AK-47 and man was and the man was shot shot dead in the streets. I think he was mentally deranged. Uh, I I didn't get they didn't share too much info with me, but I was uh, called in on that one to uh, to consult to consult the, uh, the people with the Mexican government on uh, security breaches and security, mostly just security cameras uh, uh, at their consulate. Corporations, I mean, you know, I mean, you know, I mean uh, Starbucks, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Subway, you know, stuff like this. I just, uh, I've done a lot of security cameras. I know a lot about it. And uh, also specialize in covert stuff like hidden security cameras hidden microphones stuff like this so although i'm not a licensed investigator with the state of texas and you you have to be licensed to call yourself an investigator and, and so i'm not calling myself an investigator but the truth of the matter is i've done plenty of investigations because with every security camera job there is an implied or a real investigation that goes along with it i've even gone undercover i've gone undercover as a as a, a substitute teacher in a girl's school, I've gone undercover as a dishwasher in a Mex in a high-end Mexican food restaurant. And you know, these people who are committing these crimes and they get, you know, the odds are against them. The odds are in my favor because I work for their boss. I'm the guy, because a lot of times these problems originate with management. There's also the up upscale restaurant that was having a problem with the uh, the valets were stealing the money from the valet company. It was actually the valet company at the fancy restaurant that hired me. So you see, there's um, many different uh, investigations that have to be done. And uh, the ball is in my favor. The ball, you know, I, I have the advantage, okay, because... It's not only a test of wills, 
it's a test of intelligence. It's a game of cat and mouse. It comes down to this. Do you think you're smarter than I am? Do you think you're smarter? And I'm not talking to you, the audience. Of course, I wouldn't speak to you this way. I'm making an example. I'm talking about the, the perpetrators of these crimes. My message, unsaid, unspoken message to them is, do you think you're smarter than I am? Okay, that's my first question. And my second question is, do you want to play a game? Do you want to play a game? Because let me tell you, I'm the employee that you just can't fire. You might have hired or fired everybody else in here, but I'm the guy that just showed up out of nowhere. I'm not a very good, you know, substitute teacher. I teach Flat Earth Geography 101. And I'll put that in your pop and smoke it, huh? I, uh, I'm not a, I'm a shitty dishwasher, but I'm the shitty dishwasher that you just can't fire for some reason, huh? You can't do it, huh? And so, you, you, you get the picture, you know what I mean? Well, it doesn't, it don't make sense. Well, something doesn't make sense, it's a red flag. If you're the corrupt manager of something that's stealing money from the, from the rich people, and then all of a sudden I show up, you know something's up. You know something's up, all right? And then, so you've got to steal money from the people that hired me, outsmart me, and manage a restaurant all at the same time. And all I got to do is catch your funky ass, huh? Yeah, I've got the advantage. And then, uh, and they're not smarter than me because... I am smarter than I look. Thankfully, by like a whole lot. <laughs> anyway, we have a lot of fun with it. We really do. And so, uh, investigations are are nothing new to me. Not not bullshit. Pakistani uh, poor ass dude Taj investigates investigations. I'm talking about real investigations that pay real money. You know, real investigations by hospitals, uh, car lots hotels, stuff like this. Um, so anyway, I, 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 I know a little bit about investigations. And because the thing is, I'm not an investigator. I'm not a licensed investigator. I do not actually do investigations. I motherfucking find out, huh? You let me find out, huh? Who's naughty and who's not? Nice? Who's stealing money from the people that hired me? That's a personal affront to me. If you're stealing money from the folks that hired me, you think I'm going to like that? Oh, hell no. Hell no, I ain't going to like that. But you would be surprised how a lot of these things go down.